Hello everyone. So today we're going to learn about how we can start a new project in Android Studio. And then right after that, we're going to see how we can pass values across activities. That means you're going to start a new activity and how you can pass a value to that activity using intents. Okay, now without wasting your time, let's start. I'm going to start a new Android Studio project here. Um, I will just write my first app. Okay, company domain. You can use any of your domain. For example, my website is sifwest.com. So I'm going to use the reverse domain, which is com.sifwest. All right. Now and then you can choose a location for your project which to me here is on downloads and then I click next um this one anyway I'll just choose 16 which supports almost 99.2 percent of the devices if you go down like uh, 14 you can see it's, it supports almost all of the devices on the Google Play Store all right, but I'll just try to choose 16 here. All right, and then we click next. And from here, you're gonna choose an empty activity. You can choose uh, from all of these, but uh, for today, we're going to focus on empty activity here. Now, this one comes with activity name, it's main activity, layout name. Uh, you can just leave them as they are and click finish. All right, so Grado is about to finish building the project right now. Okay, so Gredo has finished building the project right now and here you can see I have a few different files. We have manifest file. But today we are not going to concern ourselves with the Android manifest. We'll see it later. Now today we're going to concern ourselves with only two parts. You can check out here you have Java and here you have your uh, project files. Now uh, like here your Java files and this part here and we are also going to be concerned ourselves with this part here which is a rest layout activity main so for now okay so these are all opened right here and you can see we have a uh, hello world here which is presented for, for us by now without even writing one single code you have already uh, made your own first app and we'll try to run it to show you that it can be run and it's okay so to run your application you only to click this button here and you're gonna choose your device okay so this I, I'm using an emulator from Jenny motion it's right here okay so there we are the app runs perfectly well and that's it we're going to just uh, stop it and let's see what we can do. Right now we have only one activity. Uh, and we said like how to change activities. So first of all, we're going to create another activity. We're gonna come here and right click, come to new activity and empty activity will be better. Now you have main, main, main two activity, I'll just do I'll just leave it as it is. Click finish. Okay, so right now it have already finished building main activity two, and here it is. So what we're we gonna do right now from here? First of all, uh, we're going to choose our main activity, and we are going to get rid of this. Okay, and I will I will put a. I'll put a plain text here. I'll put it somewhere there. Okay. And then I will put a button. A button which will be somewhere here. Alright. Then I will infer the constraints. So as you can see right now, um also I would like this to be like that. Yeah. Okay. So change this to 8, the margin to be 8. Alright, so 
that to be better, much better. So um, we have our text view here and a button. We want somebody to write their name and then when they press the button, it's going to take the name and send it to activity main 2 here. Okay. We are, so we are done with the layout of the main activity. So we're going to go, go to the code. Now, right here, um, we are only going to create a method to get the click, to listen to the click. So it's going to be in public void. Oh, sorry, void. And I'll say uh, click listen. Okay, all our buttons are views. Okay, so we're gonna pass it the uh, arguments, which shows that it's it listens to the views. Now, when you put it here, you have to click out. You have to press out, enter, import the view. Okay, you see here we have a lot of imports. One of them is Android View View. So that's it. Now we need to specify to specify which view is being clicked here on our button here and so we're going to give it an on click method which will be click listen right there okay so right after that we know that um, our on click is going to listen to the button so what are, what, it, what is it going to do so we're going to, to build an intent an intent is an object that provides runtime binding between separate components. On this case here, the separate comp components are two activities, the main activity and main two activities. So we're going to bind these two. Okay, oh sorry, you have to start with the new intent here and put your um, main activity. So it's this. And it's going to turn to main two. Yes, main two activity. All right, this is a class. All right, and then so uh, we need to pass th some values to this main two activities. So we're taking that value from our edit text, right? So our edit text, uh, which is. Uh, edit text and we're gonna find view by ID which is gonna be our ID dot edit text all right now we are going to take the value the string from there so we are going to give it a uh, it's gonna be a message variable okay we're going to get text from the edit text okay and then we're going to change them to string and then we're going to assign them to a message okay variable now after we have gotten the strings we are going we are, we are taking the intent and put extra which will be an extra message we'll put just extra m and um which message would, will it be? It's going to be the message right there. And right after that, we're going to start activity. All right. I, because that's our intent right there. All right. So you can see here we have a problem. And that means um, there is something missing here. We didn't uh, create this constant. So we're going to come here, create constant field, extra M. We want to share it with the main two activity, so we have to declare it as public, okay? And its value is going to be it's uh, on Android developers um, tutorial. They say they say that it's a good practice to define keys for intent extras using your apps package name as a prefix. This ensures the keys are unique in case your app interacts with other apps. So I'm going to give it sifwest.com and my first app dot 
message. Okay, so now we already done here. Let's go straight to main activity, the Java main activity two. Okay, now when we come here, we we need to first of all, uh, uh, excuse me. Okay, we're going to get an in intent. All right, and after you get an intent, then you're going to give your message a string, which is going to be equal to intent. Okay, you're going to declare a string and give it a, anything like you want, maybe m, which is going to be equal to intent. Oh no, I'm sorry, I don't uh, get string extra. Okay, where 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 do we get the string extra? We get it from main activity dot extra m. Do you remember we declared this here? extra m all right okay and what we're gonna do with that we have already get our, our m here so we're going to assign it to our text view so first of all we're going to call our text view it goes to text view find view by id r dot id dot text view okay and so we're going to set the text on our text view set text we're going to give it m and that's it now now let's run our program to see if it can pass the data okay so here is our program now i'm going to write uh, mr george Washington DC okay and let's see all right you see our text view here right Mr. George Washington DC and even if I change that to Mr. Barack Obama Malia Obama anything it's going to write it there okay so that's it I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.